Uh, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to the June 5th meeting of the Stockbridge Board of Assessors. And uh, Mike. Good morning. Okay. Um, number one, last meeting minutes. I've carried over three things from there. Everything else is okay. Number two, the board has to review and sign motor vehicle abatement applications that Tammy got prepared. Number three, at our last meeting, we discussed um, submitting a uh, request for disposal of records. And I didn't have my file at the time. I did find it. And we definitely need to do this. The last time that we requested um, for any document, for any permission to get rid of the documents that we can legally dispose of was May 16, 2016. So it's, it's been a while. And I, I did look up the rulings and we, we can go um, right up to the last levy settled, which is um, fiscal year 23, because all the abatements and exemptions are done. But I, I think we should like hold on. And what do you think? Four, four years, five years, go back five and then get permission. Do you think that's good? Why don't we just do it? I mean, let's well, yeah, but yeah, we should get four or five years. Yeah, okay. reasonable. All right. Yeah, go for the five. And I know there. Um, I was down in the records room, and there there is a place for um, where we can put boxes that need to be shredded because every year they have the truck come. Yeah, and I don't. I think it's usually around July or August that they do it. But I want to make sure that. Um, I get this in right away so we can try to get on mm. that one. If not, I'll just put everything in one place and we can do it next year. All right, so that, that I will get that ready to go. Okay, we just, or I submitted the, uh, on the gateway, the LA-13A, the revised and omitted assessments report and the exemption re reimbursements for the exemptions that the board granted for fiscal year 23. I got the email on uh, Friday that the exemption reimbursements were okayed. So those are all set to go. The LA-13A is revised new growth, which we don't have. All I have to do when I submit that is put that there is no revised new growth. And then the um, revised and omitted assessments is if the board um, for either by a mistake or an omission, uh, didn't assess a certain property. We, we typically never have any of those. So we have to submit a report to the DOR stating either do we have them or do we not have them, which we do not. And that got approved as well. So we're all set with the miscellaneous forms on gateway until we're ready to submit the um, CL1 form, which will be in September which is the community preservation uh, amount that we raised. And then after September, the next round will be all of the forms for the new growth and the tax rate. Um, so there's no reminders from the DOR that we need to submit anything because it's all been submitted. Number five, um, now I didn't put this in executive session for five and six because I'm, I'm pretty sure we don't need to be in there anymore because there have been you know, dis a decision made at least for uh, number five. There, the letter, uh, we had discussed doing a letter to Berkshire Theater for map 225, lot 27 on East Main Street, a piece of land that was gifted to Berkshire Theater and um, the Board of Assessors, uh, you guys agreed that it, I believe it was two, two executive sessions ago that that piece of property at least at this point leading up to July 1, which is the exemption date, is taxable. That's basically what the letter stated. And I sent the letter out certified mail. They did receive the letter and I have a phone call to return because they have a few questions. I don't know what those questions are. Um, I did state in the letter that if, um, if it were to be considered exempt before or on the assessment date, of July 1st for fiscal year 24, um, it should be or could be combined with the adjoining parcel, the abutting parcel, which is the main unit for 
Berkshire Theater, and then you guys would consider that. That probably is what the questions are about, but I don't know for sure. I'll get back to you guys on that. Um, number six, the there's there's also been at our executive sessions talk about Tavidian Foundation at Nine Prospect Hill Road, which is under a pilot agreement with the um, town of Stockbridge. And we are following up on a uh, legal opinion from uh, Ray Miares and a letter that they're supposed to be drafting that we can send to Tavidian Foundation about the current use of that property. And Donna, who is handling that, has been on vacation. She hasn't returned my email yet. I will follow up with um, either a phone call or another email. And that letter is going to be a draft, not from the Board of Assessors, but from the Board of Selectmen, because you, at a previous meeting, agreed that it should come from the Selectmen's office, because the initial pilot program was uh, basically started by the selectmen and signed by the selectmen. Is there any com comments about that? Anything you want me to add to my discussion with Donna? Because I know we really can't go any further until they're aware of what's happening at this point. Because it, I mean, if, if you do nothing, it's still a signed pilot where you know, we're anticipating a certain amount of, do of dollars, tax dollars from that pilot. Um, I won't get into that too much until we actually talk to Donna about that. Okay, number seven, um, I'm starting the preliminary work on the fiscal year 24 valuations using the uh, sales from calendar year 2022. Now, now last year, we sort of gave an update on a, not necessarily a weekly basis, but we did it quite often over the summer, spring and summer, just to update um, our audience in the town, the town residents, because of the, um, the, the number of sales and the amount of those sales and what the potential was going to be on the assessments for fiscal 23, I thought it would be a good idea at least to mention it a few. I mean, we're not in a revaluation, so it is a little bit different, but we're still dealing with a um, calendar year worth of sales that were still quite high over the previous assessments. And actually, um, there are some in certain categories that are even higher than the valuation that we put on for fiscal year 23. I don't want to scare anybody. I mean, we're still preliminary and going through this and, and knowing exactly which sales we're using, how many number of sales we're using, which ones are going to be the outliers that we don't use. So I would say closer to mid-July, end of July, we'll have a better idea of where we're going to be on the assessments. Um, again, tax rate is a whole different thing. We'll see where that comes in once the assessments are actually done. But at this point, I will be, again, just, I'm running the preliminary numbers that I typically do, looking at the sales very closely and, and, and trying to get an idea of, you know, the, the adjustments that are going to happen. Will there be a downward trend? I don't think so at this, at this point, but we will see. Yeah, I mean, but with that being said, so even if the assessments say, go up by 10% across the board, spending is level. Theoretically, your effective, what you pay does not necessarily go up. Right, because um, last year we were in that same boat and there was a lot of fear that there was going to be a huge jump in the taxes. That didn't actually, it did not happen across the board. And actually there were, there was quite a few properties that actually saw a reduction in the taxes because the tax rate went down by over a dollar. It's it's very possible that that could we could be in the same scenario for fiscal year uh, 24 as we were, you know, assessments going up, level budget, and then value, and our receipts are very very good. So there's no uh, if we could keep those the same as we did last year, I'm foreseeing that a tax rate could definitely be lower, possibly under the $8 amount this time. It went over, it went down by over a dollar last year. So we could be, 
will we can we guarantee that going forward probably not but the calendar year 21 calendar year 22 were were definitely the highest that we have seen in quite some time if not historically so once we're out of that then you know i'm still i'm looking at the sales that are still coming through and even though they're not as numerous as they were last year or the year before they're still holding pretty good yeah. and maybe i don't yeah, know yeah. No, but, I, but you know just going back so the rate has the tax rate has gone down because the assessments have gone up mm -hmm. and that may continue yep. to happen yes but the effect of what people pay might not be a significant difference exactly There is nobody tuned in, and that's all I, I have uh, for today. No executive session, so we're there's no live audience at this point, so we're pretty much done, unless you guys have any other issues. Brandy, anything? No, nope, I'm good. You're good, Doug? I'm good. I would entertain a motion to uh, adjourn. So moved. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you.